Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been way too long, but I'm back from vacation and it really just gives me some motivation to start up my channel again. And I'm just going to be coming at you guys with loads of videos. Hopefully I stick to it. Um, yeah, I'm planning on two videos every week at least and I will be uploading my Cancun vlog, hopefully. If it comes out cute, I haven't even started editing it yet. And um, how to tone highlights. I upload so infrequently that every time I upload a video, I think I have a new hair color. But I just lightened my hair. Shout out to Kate. Um, but after Cancun, my highlights, the tone kind of faded, so I'm gonna upload a video on how to tone highlighted hair. Just a bunch of beauty hair focused videos in the near future so if you're interested please subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up thanks guys yeah i am going to be trying out this foundation that i've seen so many um beauty youtubers talk about i'm late because i haven't uploaded a video since i've seen it but it's the wet and wild photo focus foundation and i'm really tan right now from vacation so I don't know how foundation is going to look on me, but we cross our fingers as per usual. I just have my eyeshadow on right now, nothing on my face. So I guess I'm just going to apply it with a beauty blender and then a uh, brush on this side. So continue watching. Let's give this a good shake. Oh, it has a spatula. I forgot. I don't remember if in the videos they liked the beauty blender or the sponge better. I mean the beauty blender or the brush better, but we'll try out both. Sure this looks good. I couldn't find a palette with a freaking mirror in it to save my life. But I got my shade in my palette from the brush. The shade is not looking awful. Let's start. This smells like the Laura Mercier foundation. A little bit. But I don't mind it. I don't know how much I have to use. So we'll go in with one, two, three more dots. So I got my beauty blender, beauty blender down. Okay, so I'm not living for it just yet, but it might have to do with the shade, because like as you can tell, this side is looking way tanner, but what can you say for like a $5 foundation, right? I'm just going to see if it can build a little bit of silver. What is this? Okay, so it's a little bit buildable. I'd say it's like a satin medium coverage. Um, yeah, it's not too matte, not dewy. 
It might be just satin because I applied it with a damp beauty blender, but I think it's satin for the most part. Oh my gosh, this just covered my freaking bean lip. Okay, for brush, I think I applied a little too much, so we're just going to be generous and share. It's workable. It's definitely workable. I can see myself really liking this if I was five shades lighter. Okay, I just finished blending this bad boy out and I think it looks good. It's only fair to finish her with some concealer, bronzer, and powder and I will be right back. This did the rest of my face makeup and put a little bit of lip liner on to get rid of my concealer lip because those were ugh. But I got another product from Wet n Wild which is a little disappointing because, okay, so Jeffree Star uploaded the Chanel vs. Wet n Wild highlighter thing and the Wet n Wild is like really, really good, like comparable if not better. But I couldn't find the ones he had exactly. But this is like the same name. It says highlighting powder, but it doesn't have like the little lighter thing in the middle like his did. But anywho, we're going to try it out. This is the Precious Petals highlighter. And I'm going to swatch it and apply it on me. Okay, guys, I finally got her open. And I swatched her a little bit, but... I'm just gonna do it on camera for y'all because boy is she something. So just like that. Boom. One swipe. One swipe. The thing is looking impressive. I'm gonna swatch. I'm gonna swatch some Anastasia highlight next to them. Just to see. A similar shade. Would be forever young, I'd say. Pretty. This one's forever young. And those are the other ones. They're like comparable dog. That's glow getter. So I'm gonna use Max Fix Plus and then I highlight, so that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm going to do it without it just to see. Girl. I'm living for this, but I'm definitely going to use my Fix Plus. Okay, that's a little more blinding than this one, I think. Yeah. And then I'll just go in with I am living. So now that the look is over, I'm going to of course put the photo focus to test and take a picture of myself with flash. <laughs> no. 
I don't know if it's because the foundation is light or if it's flashback, but I'm looking a little pasty in the face. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put that picture somewhere in here. This is my finished look. I really enjoyed the highlighter. I think I'm going to be using that quite often. And the foundation for first impressions is Jeffree Star approved. <laughs> Just kidding. Alana Gomez approved. But I loved it. I love affordable makeup. And I'm definitely living for it. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And leave some comments below for some suggestions because I'm going to be uploading quite often.